During the American Civil War on July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of 1863, the Battle of Gettysburg took place. It is believed that more than 6,000 troops, both Union and Confederate, were killed during the horrendous fighting that took place in the fields throughout Gettysburg. Today, there are statues and tribute markers to remember those who had fallen in battle. Although the battle was intense and chaotic, only one civilian, Jenny Wade, was killed during the three-day period. Gettysburg is also known to be one of the most haunted places not only in the United States, but in the world. I've been here a few times, and I've decided to finally do a whole video on the same location I stay at every time I visit Gettysburg. And that is the one and only the Farnsworth House, the most haunted bedding breakfast in Gettysburg. My friend Michelle and I stayed in the Sarah Black Room, known to be the most active room in the building. Reports of apparitions, whispers, guests being touched, and more haunt the room and the hallways of the inn. All right, guys, this is the Sarah Black room right here. And there's Michelle kind of hanging out in the bathroom right there, like a My creep. My dream bathroom. Your, what, what is it? My dream bathroom. Your dream bathroom. This is one of the most, supposedly one of the most active or haunted rooms in the building. Uh, so far I've stayed in the Eisenhower room and the McFrolin room, which are supposed to be pretty active. Uh, but this is the holy grail of haunted rooms in the Farnsworth house. And look at this hot tub right here in the, in the claw foot. Yeah, Baltimore Street right here, which is pretty busy, but are you enjoying the vanity? Uh... I'm enjoying that sick painting behind you. The baths of... Uh... A lot of mirrors around, which could be... Well, you know mirrors are used as portals, essentially. This light is very bright, by yeah. the way. FYI, so... <laughs> I see that. <laughs> but, yep, this is the Sarah Black Room. It's pretty cool. And supposedly this wedding dress over here is supposed to be moving. Well, the sleeves are supposed to move at night when you're in bed. And got a fireplace right here. Got an old clock over here, and bed is very comfy. It's not bad at all. And we're so and wherever you are in the bed, you wake up, you will see the wedding dress in your the sunglasses for the camera light. Yes. Specifically, excellent. Got some beautiful covering over the bed. And got a closet over here. Michelle will be staying in here uh, by herself for about a half hour uh, in the complete darkness. Uh, no, she will not be doing that. I totally would. Would you? Okay, well, yeah. we'll, we'll put the night vision camera because we have a night vision camera. We'll be not for a half an hour. No, it'll be it'll be uh, about maybe five or ten minutes. You can go on and, that and one. I will be. <laughs> will this be hanging out? Um. Oh, actually. There she is, where is it? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Dorsey Schultz. Yep, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Dorsey Schultz announced the marriage of their daughter, Gloria Wanda, to Mr. Charles Miller, Jr. Do you get any, uh, what are the vibes you get from this room? I am such, like, I'm so skeptical about this kind of thing, but there's definitely a weird, like, heaviness, and I'm, like, shaking. And we have a little Christmas tree right over here, and Abraham. Ampersand Lincoln.
And there is me. And this is the guest book, which we will read later on. And uh, I'll give you a, a little taste of, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a second, second time visiting the Farnsworth house. We spent our last visit in the Catherine Sweeney room, blah, blah, blah. There was a soft tapping and then the bed sheet. Something, something, nothing substantial. Uh, let's see, I used my dancing rods and talked with three people. Jeremy, Roger, and Christian, who lives across the street in the ice cream parlor. So basically, we have spirits who visit the Florence Roof House from across the street, so, which is pretty cool. But yes, we're gonna do a tour of the building at night and um, do a night vision challenge in the closet. And uh, I will be leaving Michelle in the room by herself for about 10 minutes while I'll do some filming around the building Great at friend. night. Great and uh, yeah, that's really about it for now. We will see you guys when it gets dark out. So let's open this up real quick. So this is the hallway, obviously, well, the staircase to the second floor, which is where most of the rooms are. The first time I stayed here was actually in this room, the Eisenhower room. Second time I stayed here was this room, the McFroman room. This is supposed to be one of the most active rooms in the building. This is the Solich room right here. And this is Jeremy's room. Jeremy's a young boy who died in a accident outside the building. He was hit by a horse and buggy and uh, he died. I believe he actually died in this building in his father's arms in a rocking chair. Uh, actually, the first time I was here, I definitely heard a music box playing in this room. And the room itself is actually empty, which is pretty unsettling. <laughs> but that was my first video that I did for Gettysburg. That video, I'll leave a link in the description to that so you guys can check it out and watch it. But this building is so historic and so old. It was used as a hospital during the Battle of Gettysburg. And there's some cool paintings too. And there's actually only four of us in this building tonight. This is my friend Michelle and I. And there's an older couple next door to our room. Look at this chandelier. So nice. And the ceiling. I can actually hear Michelle now from the room. These walls are paper thin. So that's upstairs. We're gonna go downstairs for the time being. And downstairs is where the dining room area is. The old grandfather clock right here. But this is the downstairs here, and this is the dining room here. There's a guest book right here. I think I heard the clock just tick. Go over here. It's Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and the bathrooms are down here, actually. Ladies room, mirror. This is my third time staying in this building. Um, it's pretty, 
It kind of gets creepier every time I come here. And I'm trying to keep my voice down as well, even though it's only four of us in this building. Like I said before, the walls are paper thin. And it's just, you know, you want to be respectful towards the other guests that are staying in this very old and historic building. Got some figurines in there. Not just the Fernsworth house right there. So I've been to Gettysburg a few times. Um, this is Michelle's first time here. And we went to the Triangular Field, which is the most haunted field in Gettysburg. We got an EVP, which I'll show you guys right here. Is there anyone here at all? Can you give us a sign? Are you a Yankee? If you're a Confederate, do you know that you lost the war? If you're a Confederate, do you know that you lost the war? If you're a Confederate, if you're a Confederate, if you're a Confederate, yeah, it's pretty young. Michelle is so loud. Now that's the attic right there. Unfortunately, it's padlocked, so you can't get inside it. But there are stories. You can hear footsteps in the attic, from the attic, in the rooms below. Even when there's no one in the attic. So we're gonna go down back to the room. It's kind of creepy. This is our room right here. And Lawrence is back. Hello. That is bright. But yeah, we're going to um, Jeremy's room next. So. In case she didn't get to explain it in the in her segment because the video cut off early for whatever reason, do you want to explain Jeremy's? Uh... I will explain what happened while I put shoes on. Yes. Um. So Jeremy was a toddler who was uh, killed in a carriage accident outside of the Farnsworth Inn where we're staying, and there is a room here ded dedicated to him called the Jeremy Room, and you can stay in this room. Um, but. To my knowledge, in all of the other rooms, they leave toys, such as little soldiers like this, um, in the drawers, so you can like leave them outside of Jer Jeremy's room and see if he will interact with them. So, Lawrence and I just got back from a day of being outside all over. We were walking around for like four, four or five hours, chilling out on the bed, vegging out, doing whatever. I'm like, I'm going to go check out Jeremy's room. So I take two, two toy soldiers, like the one I just showed you, and I also took a little toy car. I set them out in front of his door, stood there with my ear pressed up against it, because um, I have seen in Lawrence's other footage of, like, you can hear a music box playing. Um, I didn't hear anything, so I think I was gone for, what, like a minute and a half? About that, yeah. Um, I came back, and immediately put the toys in the drawer. I don't know if you want to get a shot of this drawer. It's very sturdy. The tracks are not like loose and shut it. I get into bed where Lawrence is sitting like so. And I think I was turning around talking to you mm -hmm. and I hear a noise. 
And I turn around, and I don't think he realized what I was freaked out about at first. No, I know I do. But this drawer was like that. And it was open, all, like, all the way. Like, we heard it. Now, when we I, heard it. So I, I, I know you heard a noise. I heard a noise, too. I thought it was the door juggling, because sometimes they do that, because the airflow in the hallways, that happens sometimes. Um, however... I so quickly realized I what you were talking about. Oh, what you were freaking out about. some toys outside of Jeremy's <laughs> room, impatiently brought them back here, put them away, closed the drawer, turned around, and the drawer opened. And we heard it. We heard, we heard this noise. That's the noise we heard. And I, I immediately and I, got goosebumps. And like, I didn't know, I, I didn't think of that being the cause of the noise because it didn't seem logical because it's I'm a drawer opening by itself. But it did. I'm this such drawer. a skeptic. Like, so much weird stuff happened today. And even after all of that, I'm like, eh, you know. But that, like, um, I was also going to mention that when we were at Triangle Field, mm -hmm. yep. um, how my phone battery was at 32, 30 or 32% and just died. Yeah. Like, and your phone doesn't just shut off and die at 30%. My phone was at 41% when we got there. When we were about to leave, got my car. It was at 21%. There was also the shoelaces thing. Yes. My right shoelace, and I tie my boots, I normally tie them like, I wrap the lace around the boot and then I double knot it. My right shoelace came untied three times, my right one, three times, same foot, mm -hmm. and then Lawrence's right shoelace came untied. Yeah. Which could obviously be a total coincidence, but it's just like all these things. Just or, or, freaking, or, or and the right. whole thing with the drawer, like yeah. that was the icing on the cake. Uh, with the whole Jeremy thing, so my theory is that well, you don't think he liked the army toys that you brought him. I think he wasn't done playing yet. No, that's what I said. I yeah. think he was pissed that I took the toys away so quickly. So we're gonna bring the toys back to his room, and we're gonna hang out for a bit, and we're just gonna see what happens, and then we're gonna bring the toys back to the room, and. Uh, See that conjures anything, perhaps, but we'll see. It's just a, an experiment to take the toys to the outside of his room and see what happens. Let's so. Do this. this is Jeremy's room right here. So we are back at Jeremy's room. I'm just gonna do exactly what I did before which will set these toys on the ground right in front of his door. Do you know if he actually stayed in this room or is the room just dedicated to him? I think it's dedicated to him, but apparently there is, the room is filled with like kids' toys and everything else. Um, but a friend of mine stayed in the room and she said it was a horrifying experience. In what way? Um, someone sitting on the bed with her and oh, so great. forth. So. Um, Lawrence is locking me in the closet. Yeah, so for a minimum of five minutes because he is a sadist. Yeah, so right now that's exactly it. So we're still gonna go in this closet, and as you can see, it's a very tight space. So we're gonna leave, leave her in there. She's not alone though. She has a camera that has night vision. So we shall see how this goes. But it's gonna be at least maybe three or five minutes. Um, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it out as long as I can. I'm gonna be right out here. Just kind of. And we're locking the door. Yes. Okay. So if you have any issues, just knock on the door. Just you know, don't don't yell because the neighbors. I won't yell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try not to yell. Okay, go ahead. I'm fine. All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I'm locked in here. I can't get out. I am the opposite of claustrophobic. I'm normally very content in small spaces, especially ones that have great wallpaper. I, mean, I think it's probably just the adrenaline of the day 
that's making me like my heart race and making me so shaky. Wouldn't it be funny if he came back in here and opened the door and I looked like that girl from the American remake of The Ring, all like, I should do that. Oh my god, let's play a prank. We're gonna check Jeremy's room. Let's see if the toy's moved at all. I don't wanna go too far with it in there. I could have sworn that was closer to the door. I'll have to watch the footage, but I'm pretty sure that was closer to the door. Maybe not. Maybe Michelle moved it. Hmm. Butter is dying too. Look right over here. See now we know it's right next to the door. How you doing, Michelle? 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 which is supposed to be also another very, very active room in the building. So, we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill right here. Next to the door. Now, like I said before, these walls are paper thin. So any noise in any of the rooms, you most likely will hear. Like right now, I can hear Michelle in our room, in the bathroom, moving stuff around. But we're just gonna chill here for a few minutes. If you pick up any noises, from the attic at least. I wonder what's inside this chest right here. But supposedly you can hear a Jews harp play from this attic, which is pretty creepy. Michelle making an Instagram video that I heard something. Oh, she's gonna take a bath in that awesome tub. And I'm gonna continue hanging out here now. I think I hear something. is very squeaky.
I said there was four of us in this building tonight. Me, Michelle, and an, old, an older couple in the room next door to us. I think they're asleep. I need to keep it down a little bit. I'm gonna knock. Maybe I'll knock back. if you can see the side. So as you can see, it's a pretty small building. It's very creaky. It's creaky. I feel bad for walking around because it's so loud. First time I was here, the music was playing in this room. And the room's empty. I thought you were in the bathtub. I thought you were in the bath. I thought no, you were in the bath. I was waiting for you because you said you had to poop. Oh, no, it's okay. You go, you go back. All right, so Michelle was in the bathtub and I was in bed uh, eating combos and watching uh, YouTube videos on Instagram and this and that. And it's kind of relaxing. And Michelle in the tub is also relaxing, and then I, and then I hear, um, I hear like a humming sound, like, mm, 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 mm. so I hear that noise, and I'm thinking it's Michelle in the tub, so I think nothing of it at all, nothing, and then she goes, Lawrence, did you hear that too? And it sounded like it came right from the bathroom where she was, and you said it sounded like it was right next to you, right? Right in front of me. So, 
we're gonna do an EVP real quick and uh, see what we come up with. But um, that's the creepiest thing all night. That was the scariest thing. That uh, yeah. The, the drawer bang that was coy. That was kind of playful. But I don't want anyone fucking singing to me while I'm in the pitch black. Taking you, th you think it was the midwife? Sarah. The the midwife. So there's I a. Forgot about the midwife. So there's a midwife. See, this is exactly like thirteen notes. So there's a midwife in this building who tucks you in at night and kind of takes care of you, comforts you. Oh, she was humming to me. So the only thing I can think of is that, a, that the midwife was humming to Michelle when she was in the bathtub. That's horrifying, but awesome at the same time. <laughs> can you, that's so fucking weird. Anyway, we're gonna do an AVP and uh, yeah, let's do that real quick. I had my back. Yeah. I was laying back here. I had my head tilted back. I had just set my phone. I was looking at my phone for she, she, where, the whole time. Where was your head? Your head my was My head was up against here. Yeah. Like I was laying back. And I heard it and I was like really relaxed. So I'm thinking like, you know, maybe I'm like just really tired. And Lawrence is watching a video. But then it happened again. It happened two times. And it sounded like it was coming like from behind this wall here. But there's nothing... There. There's something there. There's not a room there. No. Yeah. Like I said, it didn't even sound like it was coming through the wall. I, I heard it clearly. Like, it sounded like it was in the bathroom with you. That's why I was stuttering. Well, why, now I'm thinking that it was and I'm freaked out. That's, that's why... all over my arm. That's why I thought it was you humming. That's why I didn't question it. And when you said, Lawrence, what did you hear? Did you hear that? I was like, You didn't uh, think to be like, Michelle, why are you humming creepy music in a haunted inn? Because it's you. <laughs> Um, I did not doubt or question it at all, but all right, let's do the EVP and uh, dear God. Okay. All right, Farnsworth house, bathroom, after the creepy humming that we both heard. Okay, um, was there anybody that was trying to communicate with me while I was taking my bath? And if so, is there any sign that you can give us? I'm not angry. Um, we would just like to know. Is there any way that you can show us um, your presence? Are you glad to have company here? Do we make you nervous? I heard it tapping, yeah. You heard that? Uh-huh. Can you make a tapping noise for us? Could be any noise you want. Can you hum for us again? Can you sing us a song, please? Do you want us to play music? Quietly? I right, play back. <sighs> House, bathroom, after the creepy humming that we both heard. Okay, um, was there anybody that was trying to communicate with me while I was taking my bath? And if so, is there any sign that you can give us? I'm not angry. Um, we would just like to know. <sighs> you scared me. No, not a soul. Not a soul. There's no one out there. So we heard voices just now. But it could have been the neighbor, but it didn't sound like a neighbor, right? I have heard a peep from them all night, and it's 12.30. They're old, old. It sounded like a full conversation. It sounded like two or three sentences to me. I don't know. Is that a full conversation? Well, I mean, like, someone's talking to someone. And someone responded. Like... 
That was weird. This place makes my stomach hurt. All right, let's let's try this one more time. Is there any way that you can show us um, your presence? You don't yeah, that? it's like a ringing Ooh. sound. Like sort of like a really high pitched. I mean, that could be anything. It could be the fucking phone. You hear that though? Yeah, it seems like a mechanical or a tech thing. Is there any way that you can show us um, your presence? Are you glad to have company here? Do we make you nervous? I heard the tapping, yeah. You heard that? Uh-huh. Can you make a tapping noise for us? What the fuck was that? Yo. What the fuck was that? There was something in there. <laughs> something moved in that bathroom just now. You heard that, right? Yeah, well, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Can we Ma go for a walk? Michelle is freaking out right now. You okay? Oh, yeah. Something definitely moved in there, but what was it? Turn the light on. What could have been? Maybe a towel moved or something, or? Nothing. Maybe, nothing. Well, the bubbles, the bubbles are still trying to, oh, well, not really. The bubbles don't make a shuffling sound. No. It sounded like my clothes moved. Yeah. It sounded like that. Why did you bring me here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Something doesn't want us to listen to this recording. Apparently not, Michelle. That's, but we, we're, we have to listen to it. Is there any way that you can show us um, your presence? Are you glad to have company here? Yeah, Whoa! What the fuck? Shh, shh, shh. I'm nervous. Whoa. Turn that EVP off. Yo, you fucking heard that, right? That's insane. You okay? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, get that fucking video, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Something's in there. It's no, uh, no raccoon either. <laughs> Jesus. That's so... <gasps> did, cup, did a cup fall over? Is that, was that what it was? No, those were like the okay. plastic cups. Yeah. Fuck, the fan scared me. Jesus Christ, I hate that fan so much. Turn the light off, turn the light off. Okay. I don't think we... <laughs> we have to. It's, it's we, every time we get farther and farther, we're almost a minute in. God damn it. I want to start it over. I want to start nah, it over. No, it's just... It's... Can you make a tapping noise for us? Is it creaking? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hum for us again? I don't think you should shine the light in there. Huh? Can you sing us a song, please? 
Do you want us to play music? Quietly. Did you hear something? Thought I heard a guy. Can you sit on the bed because the creaking will keep <laughs> Yeah, I thought I heard some creaking. Creaking, uh, not a creaking, um, a vocal noise. Alright, front earth house, bathroom. Oops. After the creepy humming that we both heard. Let me go. Any noise you want. Quietly. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I have no explanation <laughs> for what we heard. That second sound in there was like very loud and very fucking obvious. Yeah, something was moving, something was definitely. Uh, moving around. All right, the bathroom. It's gonna be interesting sleeping here. It's gonna be very interesting going to bed in the complete darkness. All right, we're gonna check Jeremy's room and see if the toys moved at all.
don't know. Someone must have just checked out today and they didn't clean it up. Maybe they might have not locked it. Come on. Why is that? Why is that moving? It's right above the radio. Read it with a very clear and loud ha ha. No mistake, he was a young boy. These are the last people that stayed here. When they was got that? a spirit box, lots of repetitive voices, caught lots of orbs on camera. Unfortunately, not many physical tricks, but there was an angry man who touched my adult son and threatened him wanting him to leave. Lots of chatter from a spirit who repeatedly said his name is Kyle and a lot from Sarah. You, you, you should have the same app I have. I do. Okay. I'm not afraid of this door closing on its own. Jeremy, um, I know we were not invited in to your room. If you want us to leave, please let us know. We have absolutely no ill will. We are sorry you died so young. We're just curious about your life. Maybe you invited us in. If you want us to leave, let us know. Show us or tell us. Jeremy, do you want us to leave? Okay. What happened? Jeremy, I hope you're okay with me sitting on the bed. Um, 
keep recording, okay? If you're okay with me being here, um, I'm not expecting this room to be open, but thanks for having us in here. Children's face masks. Hmm. Someone left here, like, in a hurry. Well, I'm sure they freaked out. There's money. Oh. Jeremy, if you're here with us right now, I am putting my hand out in the open for you if you want to give me a high five. Or if you want to touch my hand, my right hand, you can. But only this once. I've been here two times already. I heard your music box play one night and it was really nice. I know. I was just noticing that. Speaking of, where is your music box? <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy, can you play us a song? Any song you like. What song did you hear? Uh, was it Ring Around the Roses or whatever it's called, or...? Was it Old MacDonald? You heard Ring Around the Roses? I think so. That's Old MacDonald. Maybe it was that. It's a while ago. Jeremy, you have a lot of toys in here. You're a lucky boy, Jeremy. It's pretty awesome. Is it a tapping? Or like a stomp? Yeah. Jeremy, is that you? Are you are you're making that stomping sound? Hi, Jeremy. We're gonna leave the room. Jeremy, you stay here, okay? Thank you for letting us visit. Yep, thank you, Jeremy. Get me some toys right here. Should we leave the toys? Yeah, leave the toys for them. Are you sure? Yep. Entering Jeremy's room in such a way that night, it felt like we were entering a crime scene. It was one of the most horrifying feelings I've ever had in my entire life. And it was the first time going into, going into a room at the Florence Ruth house where it felt like someone else was there, someone that we couldn't see, someone who wasn't living. It was the first time I felt like we were entering a truly haunted room at this bed and breakfast. And this was the most active night I have ever had at this place. Granted, it's my third time staying there, but it was the most active and I, I would say terrifying. If I wasn't convinced before that this place is haunted, I am absolutely convinced now. And as for Michelle, she was a skeptic. Now, she is 100% a believer, thanks 
to the gracious host of the Front Truth House, the Gettysburg House of Horrors.